Hey, this is your boy John Lee, and welcome back to the Vlog Diary. Yep, I'm renewed for season two. Welcome to episode number one. Happy birthday, America. I'll be back. It's great to finally be back. Finally, the rock has come back! It couldn't be better timing with this much needed super long weekend. So real talk, Independence Day totally snuck up on me. Up until last Thursday, I totally forgot July 4th was this weekend. That's when a super helpful colleague told me we had a half day on Friday and then we had Monday and Tuesday off. <laughs> Saturday I went with my brother's family to Everett's annual Independence Day celebration. It was lots of local fun with flashy toys, live music, and all sorts of fun. That's probably the closest I've physically seen fireworks being launched. It was really cool. Sunday morning, I met up with my extended family. We headed to Ming Seafood in Malden for some dim sum. I love dim sum. It's always fun to get with family and have some good food. <laughs> Quick background, so I'm Chinese, more specifically Toy Chinese, Tai Chinese. Tai Shan is a city in the Guangdong province. I was much better when I was younger, but my Toy Chinese has considerably fallen off, and I'm below average in Cantonese, and my Mandarin is practically non-existent. Ni hao. So in the middle of the meal, my cousin-in-law's mom is looking straight at me, and she's asking me this really, really long question. So in the back of my head, I'm trying to get my tones down. Ma, 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 ma. I sort of got the gist of her question. But who knows, maybe if she asked really slowly, I would have picked it up a little bit better. And I think ultimately the question was something about my cool spectacles. At night, I was invited by my friend Liv to this 4th of July party in Malden. There, I met her partner in crime, Violetta. Yeah, I was a huge fan of um, how patriotic they were. Truthfully, this was one of the best house parties I've been to in a long time.
my gorgeous and super talented cousin, DJ Julie was spinning. It's totally my kind of party. Lots of well-dressed, attractive people. A large assortment and variety of booze. And plenty of good eats. In terms of food, there's lots of stuff going on. There's this yummy dirty rice, hot dog, burgers, wings, kielbasa, and a whole lot more. Props out to those dudes manning the grill. They totally killed it. Sunday night, I was invited to my friend Jack's barbecue in the seaport. I always love heading out there to his place. It's got this gorgeous rooftop and amazing views up there. It was a little too sunny and a little too crowded up there, so we ended up grilling on the lower deck. Of course, I still had to step away and snap some shots up there. So anytime I'm over, what's equally as good as the views and his company? The food. So we start off with some simple, nicely seasoned vegetables. Following that, we had these amazingly fresh scallops. They were literally right from the ocean. So I just learned this. Apparently, when sold to supermarkets, they remove this muscle from the scallop. In addition, they're packed in this brine. Nope, these look like some illegal black market scallops in a Ziploc bag. Again, fresh from the ocean. I literally was watching them the whole time. And it was literally out of the bag, nice fresh sear on both sides, and nothing else. Brown butter. Oh, no. These were easily the most amazing scallops I've ever had. Next, we had some plantains with some butter. Yummy, yummy. So then he whips out this sushi-grade salmon. I've had his poke bowl before and those were the bomb.com. I was a little disappointed that those bad boys were going on the grill. But nope, light sear on both sides. A little bit of a special no MSG soy sauce. And that bad boy practically melted in your mouth. Next up was his homemade kalbi. These bad boys put some Korean restaurants to shame. Lastly, we had some purple yams or purple sweet potatoes or ube. Mmm, they were sweet like candy. Perfect ending to the meal. in the fitting last day of my holiday weekend, with family, of course. It's quite the Lee family annual tradition. Every time I swing by my family's barbecue, they're always so welcoming. Like, it's not only our extended family, but you see neighbors, you see friends' friends, you see neighbors' friends, you see my cousin's dog. And with my family's barbecue, it's always an entire day affair.
In terms of food, my dad's a hardcore carnivore. We had burgers, hot dogs, steak, Chinese roast pork, or chasio, pork chops. My dad really goes all out. I think my cousin had like six or seven burgers. It was crazy. Today's subject, the Hamburglar. News headlines for that, the Hamburglar. It's your birthday, I'll let it pass. That was my July 4th weekend. If the John Leakin blog, so can you. Mm -hmm.